goes without saying that as I've traveled around the world, I've seen my share of beautiful churches. And this church right here that you're looking at, St. Matthias, or Mat Matthias Templum, here in, uh, in Budapest, actually the, the Buddha side of Budapest, is perhaps one of the more beautiful churches that I've ever visited. It is just spectacular, and I'm going to take you on a, a tour of the church, starting with the exterior, and then I'm going to take you to the inside and show you some really, really beautiful, beautiful sights on the inside of this church. So let's uh, let's start by looking at the at the front of the church, and as you approach, there is a there's a large column or statue just right uh, right here, and I will uh, zoom in on that as I often do when I'm doing a video and show that to you. Really beautiful. This has got to be one of my one of my favorite all-time favorite churches that I've ever been in. And I actually had a uh, really, really memorable night inside this church. Some years back, I went to see a, a Mozart Requiem in this, in this church. And that was uh, several years ago. And as a matter of fact, tonight will be another Mozart Requiem that I am certainly hoping to, hoping to see. It is a rather brisk mid-November day as I am shooting this video and there aren't nearly the amount of tourists that would be out and about where in the middle of summertime. Just magnificent. I try to give you as much of a view of the outside as possible before going on into the inside. Look at that. Just go up to the go up to the top there. Is that beautiful or what? Zoom in a little bit. Give you a nice view of the top there. Look at that. We'll come down. I'm trying to delicately move this this camera to give you a nice nice even pan of the front of the church. You see the top of a top of a bus going by. Okay. I'll zoom back out and show you the show you the arch. The roof has uh, Beautiful tile work on it, and here would be the the arch as you're you're looking. Look at that, just beautiful. If you were to actually stand here and look up, this would be the view that you would see. All right, let's step around to the side and see if we can't see some of the uh, other parts of the outside of the building. I found my way to the side of the church. 
And as I do, there's a gentleman playing a violin not too far off. Look at that. Pan around. The tile work is just beautiful. See if I can zoom in on the actual tile work and give you a nice shot of that. I believe that comes from Page. I could be mistaken. Page is a town in southern southern Hungary. Look at that tile work. You'll see this on buildings throughout parts of Hungary. It's beautiful. Alright. I'm going to zoom out and need to go buy my ticket to get inside. Give you a shot of the area just outside the church. The gentleman over there playing violin. This is Fisherman's Bastion. I believe that's the pronunciation. And that would be uh, King Istvan himself right right there on the on the horse. Let's see. You'll see him all throughout Hungary, and rightly so. He was the first king, first king of this country. Became a saint by uh, uniting the, I believe, uniting the tribes under under they brought Catholicism to uh, to Hungary. I have found my way inside the church, and you are looking up at the ceiling just coming in and this is one of those churches which you're about to see that you could just literally spend oh easily in a couple hours in this church just trying to look at everything and I'm just panning down the ceiling and toward the toward the altar but it's just a magnificent church and I'm just going to take my time and walk through the church and just share as much of it as possible with you really really is a special special place so I'm just gonna walk along here and the when they play the organ in here and have concerts the sound is just absolutely fantastic they're actually setting up for the concert as I'm as I'm filming this but you can see the the altar just up ahead Perhaps I will zoom in on that. Give you a nice, nice view. Look at that. Just spectacular. Absolutely gorgeous. Now I'll try to pan up. Fantastic. You have to bear with me on the camera work here. It's a little little challenging but nonetheless look at how beautiful when I pan over to this side everywhere you look there's just beauty even the columns here look at this Cameras. 
see that there. really doesn't need a whole lot of narration. Look at that. And it seems like every square inch of this, every square inch of this church is just painted with beautiful, beautiful designs and just spectacular. No shortage of beauty. <laughs> Come over here to this small little al alcove. Look at Magnificent. I keep thinking that I'm going to turn the camera off and say, well, go look at something else. But everywhere you go in here, there's something to, something to see, something that turns your head. Look at the back wall here. Fantastic. Beautiful that is.
Okay. I would imagine that there's a lot of Hungarians around the world, like Liz up in uh, Canada, that watch these videos with such, uh, such joy and, and appreciation. Looks like there's a tour group going on. And just over here they've got such a beautiful window. Look at this. stained glass. Everywhere you look, there's beauty. Magnificent. And look at this over here. I believe that would be the Three Kings, perhaps. Could be mistaken. Now and then you'll see me pause such as I'm doing here because in my film editing software I have the ability to do screen captures from the, from the video. So for example, if I want to have a nice picture of Christ, I can zoom in as I'm doing here. And there would be my screen capture right there. Just wonderful. I think I'm going to run out of adjectives to describe this place. You'd see the organ would be up there. 
I would imagine Christmas Mass to be wonderful inside this church. Here's another small little room. sure who this who this is but look at that actually a little backyard. King Bela III and his first wife, Anne Chatillion, are buried in Holy Trinity Chapel. So that's King Bela III is buried here. 1172 to 1196. 1172. Look at that. That's beautiful. Not sure who this is. Okay. Not 
quite sure what that is. All right. So that is your that is your tour of the church itself. Beautiful. Up here you have a have an organ. All right. So I'm going to go upstairs and give you a view of the church from the balcony. And I'm actually going to do two videos here. I'm going to do one video of the church itself and then another video of the museum that they have here. So we'll go upstairs and take a look and uh, hope you enjoyed this tour of St. Matthias Church here in beautiful, beautiful Budapest. To wrap up this video, I found my way up to the balcony, if you will call it that, and I thought I'd share this this view of the the church with you. Be a little closer view of the of the ceiling. Hope you enjoyed the hope you enjoyed the tour.